Symptoms, indications, uh, manifestations. Of becoming a bad lady? Yes. There's no chance you could be mistaken, you're sure. I, I wish I was mistaken. I, I want to be wrong about this. Well, I think I'd like a second opinion. <laughs> I'm serious about this. Harvey, look at me. Or tell me, just look at me, Harvey. Wouldn't you say I'm a little too young to be a bad lady? Maybe a little too old to be queen of the prom, but... Just a teensy weensy bit too young to be an old bad lady. You think old bad ladies start out as old bad ladies? No, they start out as young women, and then they... And then they went to a wild party, somebody slipped them a shopping bag, and it was all over! Please, I'm just trying to... You're trying to tell me I'm a bad lady. Because I'm carrying a shopping bag, a singular shopping bag, a Nordstrom's shopping bag, that makes me a bad lady? Harvey. You're such a schmuck. It's not because of you carrying a bag, it's because of what's in the bag. Because of what's in the bag? Yes. Well, I'm sorry if the contents of my bag don't meet your standards. From now on, I'll try to carry only Gucci shoes. No, that's not what I meant. You're trying to tell me what to carry in my bag. No, I'm trying to tell you what not to carry in your bag. What not to carry? Yes. What should I not carry, Harvey? What should I not carry so you will not think that I'm a bag lady? Tell me and I'll stop carrying it. Tell me. Uh, Tell me! A, a, a sweater. A sweater? And, and a plastic raincoat. A sweater and a raincoat make me a bad lady? And, and a tennis shoe. Raincoat, sweater, and tennis shoes make me No, a tennis shoe. One shoe. Singular. One shoe makes me a bad lady. Why are you carrying one shoe around? I'm taking it down to the Bowery. To meet my wino lover. My one like a wino lover on that movie. May I inquire about the picture frame? What about it? A picture frame? You tell me about it. It's a picture frame. Beveled wood, possibly pine, approximately 
9 by 12. With, with a wire. Why the picture frame? Why indeed. How about to hang a picture with? No, How about that? why didn't you pick it up? From out of the garbage can. That's what out I... of the garbage can. It was it was next to the can, leaning against the can, yeah. not touching the garbage. Okay, why do you pick it up from next to the garbage can? Well, how can I put a picture in it if I don't pick it up? Why didn't you just buy a frame? Well, why buy a frame when this is a perfectly good frame? That somebody threw away. Yes, that someone threw away. And the couch cushion? <sighs> it's a perfectly good couch cushion. I can use it on my desk here. So you just took it? When it's covered in a blue floral, it'll just be so cute. And the magazines? All oh, the magazines! Why are you attacking me like this? What's really bothering you? This! This is what's really bothering me. I mean, what could bother a man more than seeing his wife collecting picture frames and tennis shoes and... Well, don't forget the grapes while you're at it. You, you have grapes in there? I have everything in here. <laughs> I'm a bag lady, aren't I? You are a bag lady. You say you have you have uh, grapes and picture frames and tennis shoes, and they're like, it's perfectly normal. It's not normal. You are a bag lady. The grapes make me a bag lady? The grapes and the, the, the picture frames and, and the, the tennis shoe? Stop harping on the tennis shoe. If the tennis shoe offends you, I'll get rid of it. Here. All right. And the, and the rest of the stuff? You want me to throw it all away? I will. I can just leave the bag right here and walk away. I just want you to... Wait, that's the picture frame. See, this is what I'm talking about. I, we can leave the rest right here. Sylvia, do you not see what is happening to you? What is happening to me is you. You're attacking me. No, I'm trying to reach you. I'm trying to help you understand what it is you're doing. I'm not doing anything. I found a nice little picture frame and you turn it Look, if we know there's a problem, we can, we can stop it now. We can nip it in the bud. I don't see what it is. Look, will you do me a favor? Just, just one favor. What is it? Will you open your purse? Why? Just as a favor to me, just as a whim. <laughs> Why should I cater to your whims? Will you open your purse? You think there's another tennis shoe in here? Will you open your purse? No. Will you open your purse? No! Will you allow me to do it? Well, no, a woman's bag is... Purse is a personal thing. I'm opening this purse. You will not find another tennis shoe in there. Look. Look. Please. Look in this purse. What do you see? What? Speak up. I, I want to hear you say it. Oatmeal, all right? Oatmeal! Oatmeal! Yes! Oatmeal! Are you happy now? Are you satisfied, you sadistic son of a bitch? Oatmeal! <laughs> oatmeal! Yes! Old, cold, cooked oatmeal! You are vicious! You I knew there was oatmeal in that person! You know it! I want you to know it! I want you to see it! I see it! I see it! Then why? Why is your purse filled? Filled to the brim with cold, cooked, wet oatmeal. I see. It's filled with oatmeal. Why? Why, I, Sylvia, why? I, 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 Do you want a purse filled with cold oatmeal? No. Does any woman want a purse filled with cold oatmeal? No. Does anybody need that? No. Do you need it? No, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> no. I know I don't need it. <laughs> then why is it there? It's there because you put it there. I'm so embarrassed. All right, so so you put it in there, didn't you? Yes, I. I suppose. And, and you got it where? Please. Uh, you made your point. I just don't did care. you cook it this morning at home? Did you cook it and then just pour it into your purse? No. Did you buy it? Buy it. And you found it <laughs> somewhere. Still a purse. Okay, so. So you went to Sofer's for breakfast. For coffee. And you saw a bowl of oatmeal on the next table. On the same table. On the table where I sat down, they hadn't cleared it yet. You sat down at a dirty table. <laughs> well, it was crowded. They were busy. And you emptied the oatmeal out of the bowl into your purse. I didn't empty it. I put it in my purse. The, All of it. The bowl, too? 
<laughs> Silvio, what does this make you? The oatmeal? The, the oatmeal and the hubcaps and the, and the ketchup bottles <laughs> and, and the chicken bones. Chicken bones, Sylvia. I mean, you're an intelligent woman. What does what this make you? A bag lady. I don't want to turn into a bag lady, Harvey. I don't want to push a supermarket cart down the street yelling at people and talking to myself. I don't want to sleep in a doorway. But you'll never sleep in a doorway. This is how it starts. The oatmeal and, and the shopping bags and then yelling at people on the street and, and talking to myself and rummaging through garbage cans and, and begging for money and not bathing and, and weaving that stuff into my hair and growing a mustache and drinking wine and sleeping in doorways and getting arrested. Oh my god, I mean, don't you know it! Don't get hysterical! If I start to weave that crazy stuff into my hair, oh, you've got to stop me! Slap me! No, I can't slap you! Well, you've got to, you must try, try, do that! Sylvia, I can't just slap you! Slap me and I'll leave that whole bag right where it is! Oh, bring me to my senses, we can go home! Sylvia, I can't slap you! You've got to be forceful, Harvey! They have no homes! They prowl the streets. They don't get their hair done. They don't have to bathe. They don't have to shave their legs. They, they don't worry about it. No cooking to do. No house to clean. No man to consider. They, they scream out, Hey, Buster! Watch your fingers, son of a bitch! What are you, Rotten Creek? Fuck you, Pop is self-righteous! <laughs> Harvey. I'm all right now. I'm going to leave that bag right where it is. We can go home now. I just want you to... No, I'm grateful. You saved me. I'm so lucky to have you, Harvey. I think I'll take the sandwich home for later. Sylvia! <laughs> That's all right. I don't need it. Thank <laughs> you. 